baka mag-appear sila, di ba? Pagpasok. Kitang-kita na papasok sila. Or hmm. pwedeng i-off naman yung nila, no? Pwede na ako. I-off na lang nila yung cam nila muna. Okay, sige. Uh, let me turn off my cam. Adriana! Hi! Hi, hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Jez. <laughs> Alexino. Hi, Jez. Thank you for having us. So, yes. the question, do I share my screen later? Yeah, puede, puede, puede. Yeah, let me can, just that's easy everything. for you. I'm I might have incriminating stuff on <laughs> no worries. No worries. Thank you. Alexino, that's how I pronounce it. Yes, it's Alexine and Adriana. Hold on. Adriana. Adriana. <laughs> Thank you so much. May I na live na ba tayo? Hindi pa no. I hope not. I hope not. Mom? <laughs> Change your shirt. Right here. What? Hindi pa naman po, sir. Hindi pa po. Inaayos ko pa po. Okay. Wear your um, okay. Dan Hulan shirt. Chop, chop. It's maple Chop, chop. <laughs> Hurry up. It's maple leaf. Adi po ba ka? Come on. So okay. cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to do this with us on a Sunday. <laughs> I have a question. You handle all the parks, right? Like all the national parks? We only have two. <laughs> Rizal Park and Paco Park. Oh, well, you're going to like one of the books. It has Rizal Park in it. Oh. Exciting. Exciting. How do I share screen? Wait, let me, the, the, right. later. We'll, we'll, How do I do that? Well, yeah, later, later we'll pass it. We'll pass the host to you. So you'll be able to share your screen, Mamaya. Okay. And let me check if yeah. my screen has it. Yes, my screen has it. Okay. And who usually watches your show? It's it's it it's it varies, you know. Um, it's it's families. It's um, mostly it's people, older people actually, <laughs> people forties and up mostly. Wait, let me check my volume. I can't hear you very well. How's our audio? You sound perfectly clear. All right, great. Let me just erase. This is my daughter's mask. Panga, are you done with your mask? Huh? Are you done with your math? Banga, yes. this is Tita Jez. Hi. 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 Hi, Adriana. Wait, what does Quark stand for? Does Quark stand for anything? Grab your chair, please. Does Quark stand for anything? Come on. I erase this. Come, Come sit here. Move your what, chair now. Does Quark stand for anything? No. It's literally they're in charge of Paco Park and Rizal Park. Mom, let us go with something. You guys let are welcome to come to the park. Wait, just go from the app to get them. You guys can come to the park now. We are uh, Hurry, hurry, hurry. You know, we have a new puppy. We have a dog. We have a child. It's crazy. Oh, my okay. God. I got. A, I have a puppy, too. He's here. He's sleeping. Oh, what's that? It's my puppy. Oh. He's sleeping right now as we are doing our webinar. <laughs> I got him on the first day of lockdown, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Parang I can't hear I you. Know, so having... Oh, no. Could you hear me? Yes. Okay. Lang. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. 
<laughs> so um, once we go live, um, once we go live, we'll shut our videos until I guess until May Ann, who's Watch here, May Ann introduces face. us. Introduce you guys. Okay. So yeah, we'll we'll shut our screens off for now until we get introduced by um, May Ann. And then I'll introduce you both of you. Okay. With a what? We'll, pass over. Um, we'll introduce the both of you. So we'll shut our screens off, Muna, while we go live. And then um, both of us will be introduced by uh, May Ann will introduce me, and then I will introduce you. All right. Okay. Okay. And then we'll, sh we'll pass the share screen to you. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Jess. <laughs> So just I'm having trouble lang sa pag go live. Ayaw mapindot ng go live dito po sa ano. Kung okay, so you want me to go live tapos ipas ko sa iyo yung ano, yung 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 people. Yeah. This. Opo, sige po. I ano kita, may kasos kita. Okay, let's off our screens muna. Yan. Okay. Cute. Oh. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 10th episode of Park Conversations, brought to you by the National Parks Development Committee, an attached agency of the Department of Tourism, tasked to develop, preserve, and manage Rizal Park, Paco Park, and other urban parks. Join us this afternoon as we celebrate National Book Week and National Children's Month here in Park Conversations, Discover the Philippines Through Reading. Truly, books have a way of taking us to places without leaving our home. And yes, this afternoon we are going to learn to travel around the Philippines and discover more of our culture through the help of children's books curated by our resource speakers 
Alexine Pereño, and her daughter, Adriana Madrid of Pumpo Pie Books and Happiness. But before we officially start our discussion, please be reminded of the following. Our Park Conversations webisode is also streaming live on Facebook through our FB page npdc.ph and will be available on demand after the live discussion. We encourage everyone to share our webinar with your social media friends and use the hashtags, hashtag Park Conversations, hashtag National Book Week, and hashtag National Children's Month. We'd also love to hear from you during the live discussion. If you have questions for our speakers, you may send it through the Q&A button, which is also found on the lower portion of the screen, or you may post your questions in the comment section of our live video for our Facebook viewers. Please note that we will do our best to accommodate all questions subject to the availability of our speakers should we exceed the time limit. And lastly, only those who will successfully answer and submit our online survey form will receive a copy of their digital certificate. We will be posting the link of the survey before the end of this webinar at the chat box. And for those watching us from Facebook Live, we'll be posting it at the comments section. Please review your entry details before hitting submit button, especially your name as it will appear in, our, in your digital certificate. To formally introduce our resource speakers this afternoon, let's all please welcome Deputy Executive Director Jisriel Apilar. Hello and good afternoon, everyone, and welcome again to the 10th episode of Park Conversations. I'd like to introduce our special guests for today. We have some two very, very special guests. Um, I'd like to introduce Alexine and her daughter, 10-year-old Adriana Madrid. So they are a mother and daughter team behind the online bookstore, Pumple Pie Books and Happiness. So they started when Adriana was just five years old. And together they curate children's books for Filipino families around the world. So what makes their bookstore unique is that they exclusively carry children's books created by Filipino authors and illustrators and publishers. With ongoing travel restrictions, they believe that one of the best ways to see, experience, and learn about the Philippines is through children's books. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us welcome Alexine and Adriana of Pumple Pie Books and Happiness. Ayan. There we go. Are you guys there? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, you guys are on mute, Pa. Okay, hi. <laughs> Good afternoon, hi. Jess. Thank you for having After us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having, for joining us <laughs> to celebrate Children's Month and of course, National Book Week. So we're very excited to hear what you guys have to share uh, with all of our family and all of our viewers. <laughs> um, so Jess, thanks for having us. So like you mentioned, it's uh, National Book Week and uh, Tamang Tama, uh, our business, uh, Adriana and I have a little business. It's an online bookstore called Pumple by Books and Happiness. And you wanna say what we specialize in? Children's books. But also, if you Google the Pumble Pie books we have, if you Google Pumble Pie, you might get a recipe or the website. Because <laughs> well, Pumble Pie is actually a dish. It means pumpkin apple pie. Um, so, we <laughs> so we specialize in uh, only Filipino children. Uh, we only carry children's books made by Filipinos. So it's, uh, they're very, yes, yeah, so they're very unique that way. And, um, so Adriana's 10 and when when I uh, when she was born, I didn't know there were children's books in the Philippines. So I had books imported from the US and as a matter of fact, to this day, yes, to this day, uh, families still do that because a lot of families still do not know na sobrang laki na ng children's book industry 
And you know what? We've saved you the trouble. We've curated them for you. <laughs> Selected wow. everything for you now. Right. So Adriana is actually the one when we get titles, Adriana is the one who reads them. And then mm -hmm. she's the one who decides if they're any good or not. Ah, OK. Very nice. Between the two of us, so we have kid. an. Act yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So it, it's, it's vetted by a, by a, by a kid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's fun for, for, for the kid. Great. Well, Adriana, would you like to share with us? Um, would you like to begin and share what you guys have in, have in store? <laughs> yes. Um, so we have a little slideshow. So when we say we have everything, when we literally we have a little slideshow, like five minutes slideshow. No, yeah. So we really do have a lot of books for you. Let me see. Here we go. Share. Yeah. All right. So can I do it? Do it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What? Hold on. Hold on. Getting there. Present. Ta da. All right. So here we have so, so when we say you can travel the country without ever leaving your house, we really do mean it. So, an example is this was just launched in 2020. This is an atlas which has a map of the entire Philippines and all the 17 regions. And we put the price tag of all the books on the lower right corner for everyone's reference. Mm -hmm. And this one is also a um, search and find naman, good for little kids. This has Paco Park, by the way. Uh, Luneta Park pala. And see, look at that. What's that on the background? Yeah. Rizal Park. The Rizal <laughs> Monument, yes. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> So this is a very cute board book. This is a new series. There's three of them. It's called Tales of Tom Tom. Uh, there's Manila, there's Davao, and there's Bohol. And at the end of each book, there's a little map of all the tourist spots. So in fact, Adriana, Adriana and I want to travel to these places now because of the books. Para nandun ka na din, di ba? Yeah. And look, who's on the cover again on the right side? Wow. It, it's, it's, it's Manila and I see the Rizal Monument. Yes. So, so this one is Good Morning Manila. This shows us the sights around Manila during the day. And this is Good Night Manila, the sights of Manila at night. Right? And these are only 99 pesos. Wow. Yeah, these are very... Yeah. Very and so about culture, Shampre, when you travel, you want to learn about the culture. So this is a very beautiful book. This is good, not just for kids. Huh? This is a, a chock full of information, even for adults. This is Alpabeto ng Kulturang Filipino. Uh, this is Alpabetong Filipino. And then this is my Alpabetong um, Filipino sa aming probinsya. Four, actually. Four. 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 So this one naman, Alpabeto ng Kalikasan. So as it turns out, we have one of the richest biodiversities in the entire world. And the best way to teach that is through our kid, through through our children, well, kahit baby pa sila. It's never too young to learn to save the environment. And here we have, we also have publishers from Mindanao. So they share with us um, their culture. So this is everything about the Malong and the Muslim uh -huh. culture. Uh, by Bayin, because that's very unique to us. It's our um, writing before we were colonized. So, and we have two books on by Bayin. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, one and two. And then this is a coloring book about indigenous designs and patterns from Mindanao. Uh, this, this proceeds of this supports the Lumads in Mindanao. Oh, wow. And wow. this one, I'm sure you've heard of this. Uh, Awit at Laro. It's, it's kind of pricey, but it helps, yes. So this uh, teaches Filipino games and art. Because uh, this is a project of uh, Tukud Foundation and Gary Valenciano. They want the kids to return to play. And, and during this quarantine, that's exactly what kids no, need to do. Like so all yeah. of these singers, are, there, are they connected? How, do, how does it relate to this, to this book? All of these things? Oh. Um, so all these, uh, inside the book, there's an image, there, uh, there's a drawing, and then there is a, um, 
a song. There's a QR code. Just yeah, and then the yeah, every time you buy the book, you can access all the songs. Wow. Diba? So and all those songs are performed by those singers. So that it's amazing Beautiful. like that. That's a real. That's a that's a very nice you know, list of performances. <laughs> yes, it's very impressive. They also actually have a playlist on Spotify. If you don't want the book, you just want to listen to music, you just go Wait, to, really? yes, you just go to Spotify. Yes, and go to Awit at Laro. The entire album will be there as well. Galing, galing. Like download na si Tito Jess. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, syempre, when you travel, pinaka-importante ay... Food. Food. Yes. Ayan. So, uh, ito, we have A for adobo. So, this is literally the alphabet book in Filipino food. So, it's A for adobo, B for and bibingka. Yeah, B it. for bibingka. Mas nakakatakam itong librong ito. Okay. Adrian, I know what's your favorite it's... Filipino food. What's your favorite though? Lahat. Malakas kumain. Malakas. B. B. Okay. Ato, halo-halo. Isang... Ayan. Ayan. Ito yung sample pinakita ni Adriana. C is for calamansi. Uh, wow. Okay. Name another. Tama, tama na. We have, we have a lot of books. So, ito, halo-halo. This is a picture book naman for babies. Kakanin. Look, that's made out of clay. Ang galing. Wow. Super cute. Super And this cute. is another book about kakanin. Uh, Adriana says she did a book report on this. <laughs> Ito, Bahay Kubo. So we have several, uh, we have two book versions of Bahay Kubo. And they actually help the kids eat vegetables. Nung baby si Adriana, kinakantang kita dati nung baby ka anak. So, yeah, kasi pag kumakanta ka, pos alam nila yun yung gulay na kinakain nila, mas naingan nyo silang kumain. Correct. Tapos, ito, Philippine fruits. So, these are fruits na unique to us. And, at, ayun pa. So, when you travel the Philippines, there are different languages, di ba? We are, uh, we have over a hundred languages in the Philippines. And uh, before, everyone used to say na, oh, our language isn't represented. But now, publishers are changing that. So like this uh, publisher, Sari Sari Storybooks, they've started publishing stories in different Filipino languages. Like this one is in Chavacano. I have this copy. <laughs> oh, you, oh, that's right. Yeah, so this is in Chavacano and it's okay. based in Zamboanga. This okay. is in Cebuano. And wow. that is a... In uh, Bisaya, kasi we call the Manananggal Tik Tik. So this is in Cebuano. This is in Ivatan. Ivatan, wow. Yes. And yeah, and then so the stories, they all have uh, information about the region. And okay. uh, this one is in Waray. This is in Ifugao. Do you have this, Jess? I don't have this one. This is um, very, very beautiful because the illustrations are by Cora Dandan Albano. And so she shows the she shows the <laughs> Uh, rice terraces and the culture wonderfully. And this is only 120 pesos. Uh, this one is in Cebuano again. So this series, Tatluto, they're folk songs. This one, this one, and this one. They're folk songs and they come with sheet music. Wow. Yeah. So this this one naman is a folk, a Magindanawan Nawan folk song. Don't we have it here? We do. So, and then this is a story in oh Ibanag, Ibanag and this one in Ilocano. So these two, they currently have a fundraiser for the victims of Typhoon, of the of Typhoon Ulysses. So er everything you buy from us now, pumpelpie.com, if you buy this one or this one, uh, 100% will go to uh, their fund drive for their... Wow. For the typhoon victims. Amazing, amazing. And then, so Shabra, the values. So very unique to the Philippines are we have values, our values are ingrained in us and kaits and taiwa patpad sa ibang mundo, bit bit pa din natin. So all those, they're evident in our books as well. So this one, this is ang maliit na kalabaw. So this is good manners for good manners or right conduct for little mm -hmm. kids, diba? So this is 
ang um, bata ay nagsasabi ng po, yung ganoon po at opo. Oo, pero may kalabaw, so cute siya. Very Ito, cute. pitong tsinela. So this oh, is about wow. inclusion. So this is illustrated by Ben and uh, written by Divine. Wow, Divine and Ben. Yes. I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> this is this is about inclusion. Kasi tingnan mo when it comes to play, look at if you look at the chinelas, Iba iba you can right away say oh iba iba yung status symbol nila. 'Di ba? Mm. Yung isa tagpi-tagpi na yung chinelas niya. But you know when it comes to play and friendship er- everyone's equal. Right. Diba? Beautiful. And, Beautiful. And then this one, this is also very nice. This this shows so much about the uh, city life in the Philippines and how we communicate. Mm. Yes. Ito, hating kapatid. Diba? The term is also uniquely Filipino, which sometimes means na yung kwento kasi nito, naisahan niya yung kuya niya. <laughs> uh, yung, yung, yung bunso niyang kapatid. Sabi niya, oh, hating kapatid, ako yung kuya, ako yung malaki. Diba? Diba ganun yun? Mm. So, then it later explains what real sharing is. Ito, Tight Times. This is an award-winning book as well. But nice. Uh, Yes, kasi um, yun, especially now, a lot of families are struggling. So this teaches you how to live within your means and how eventually with hard work you can recover. Great, great lessons. I thought this is a true story. Of, wow. Yes, this is her real life story of Hidden Diaz and how she went on that crazy journey to win uh, the gold medal. Diba? Yeah. She used to sell fish. Nagbubuhat lang siya ng batya dati ng isda. Mm-hmm. Diba? So anything, ito, isa din, laki sa hirap. So madami tayong real life stories in the Philippines about uh, rags to fortune mm-hmm. because of hard work. And this is another charity uh, currently doing a fundraiser. This is a true story from Typhoon Yolanda about how children donated a bangka to a family in Cebu. Wow. And uh, so now, this book is actually just 250 pesos, but currently, uh, they're selling it at 500, and 100% also goes to the victims naman of Typhoon Rolly. Oh, wow. In Bicol. So, bago lang din tong book na ito. I'm sorry? It's a new book then. Bagong, bagong book. Um, this came out shortly after Yolanda. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, but now they're selling it for the benefit of Typhoon Rolly victims. Okay. Um, ito, bagong bago to. So this is uh, the first ever winner of the Wordless Prize, Wordless Book Prize. And very timely, after all that's happened to us recently, the title is Pagkatapos ng Unos. And it's mm-hmm. only 150 pesos. So this is a beautiful it's mostly book. pictures. Yes, no words at all. It's just beautiful <laughs> illustrations showing yun, yung mga nangyari sa madaming uh, Filipino na naubos lahat, na sumama sa ano, na, na umagos lahat. You know, things get better in the end. Mm-hmm. You can recover. That's what, it, that's what this book shows us. Amazing, amazing. And Philippine history, I'm sure this is familiar to you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yon, this one, uh, Kasay Shayan, Jose Rizal, and we, we actually have a lot of story, stories. This is Andres Bonifacio, Gregoria de Jesus, Gabriel, because there's always, they, all, there's, they also say uh, women aren't represented. So, yes, they are. Yon. And this one, Manila Acapulco Galleon Trade. Uh, another Rizal, <laughs> this is a poetry book. Naman. Elmer Borlongan, okay. Yeah, so this is my canvas. Canvas only works with, uh, uh, they work with uh, the best illustrators in the country to produce beautiful children's books. Amazing. Um, So this is also by Tahanan, uh, first around the globe. Mm. And um, ito, also we have current uh, affairs. Yeah, current affairs, (laughs) our publishers, hindi na papahuli. Nagpapahuli pala. We have three books already on COVID-19. Okay. So this this one is Maging Ligtas sa Coronavirus. Si Dr. Lee at anak ka-coronang virus. 
and Quentong Quarantine. This is a journal for your for your child's everyday quarantine life. Amazing. Wow. And, wow. Yes. So ayon. So that is just some of what some of the books that we have. Three. Ayon. Are we done? Yeah, that was just a little bit. So <laughs> So we have a lot more, but mm -hmm. so we wanted to say as well that a lot of, because we ship worldwide okay. and a lot of our customers live abroad because a lot of families have been planning their trips home, Yes. Um, but all that's been erased and a lot of moms have reached out to us now. It was going to be our first time to visit the Philippines, bring our child for the first time. So voila, and it doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon. So they Perfect. they this was one of the best ways they can show their child the Philippines. Oh, that's true. Through 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 these beautiful books. Uh uh. Wonderful. Great, great, great. So we have a diversity, right, of Filipino children's books, you know, that many people don't even know of. Um so and it's 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 very enlightening uh, to hear that we we have such a rich rich variety of books for kids. So um, it's a great way for yeah for even not just for Filipino kids here but for Filipino kids abroad. I mean uh, some of these books I mentioned no, the bar I, I have and I have been giving sa aking mga nieces nephews and mga ina -ana. So these are oh you're that books. kind of tito. That's the best <laughs> kind. That's the best. And if you give away books, that's it's a gift that keeps on giving. And food, yeah. though, sabi ng anak ko. <laughs> and food. That is true. Uh -oh. That is true. How about, uh, what, what are your favorite gifts, Adriana, other than books? <laughs> food. Food. Always I food. This, I have this interesting, um, this one. Have you seen this one? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. We carry that as well. Siyempre, hindi natin pinakita pala. And, <laughs> the, oh, she, ask Tito. She wants to know if you made that yourself. Ah. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> he, hid, he hid behind his... The Admit airport. that I had helpers. I had helpers. But I, I proudly display it in my office. <laughs> yes. So that is only 295 pesos. Diba? It's very affordable, you know? It's... it's you know, I like yeah. we tell the publishers that's so cheap. Well, it's 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 too cheap. You're giving these are really good quality stuff, and they're so cheap. But they really want to make it affordable and accessible for everyone. Kaya books are still coming out at under one hundred pesos. Wow! Yeah, I see. Oh. I see some of them. Ninety nine pesos na yung kibajan eh, ng galing. Oh. But some of them, are there some books that you guys exclusively carry or are limited that are not found in, let's say, hindi, hindi makikita sa national or sa mga iba? Yes, um, yes, we, we do because we, we, well, some are exclusive to us and some are, uh, we are one of the very few that carry. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, a lot, we have a lot of self-published authors in the Philippines. Okay. And um, it's very hard to break into the big brick and mortar stores, bookstores, because um, it takes a lot of, it's expensive to run, to own buildings and all that. So they get a huge chunk of your cost. So right. we carry, because we, we we're online, we don't have a lot of overhead. So we, yes, so we carry a lot of very hard to find books. Very good. By Very default. Good. <laughs> Why? Very nice. <laughs> so you guys, so you do ship abroad. That was one of the questions of one of our viewers is if you ship abroad. So you, yes. you do. That, yes. That's, and to be clear. we ship, okay. uh, we ship via DHL. And it get yeah, like just last week, okay. our shipment from London took two days uh, to London. So a total of two days. So our client was panicking. She's like, oh, okay. I need it because I want it for Christmas. Yeah. Two days later. Yeah, Yay. two days later than the nurse. Wow. 
how about homeschooling? How has that been? How has that, I guess, do you guys carry those types of materials as well for? <laughs> well, some currently, well, that's all we were. currently, we have some textbooks. Uh, I, I'm gonna go get no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it's downstairs. No. <laughs> anyway, so currently we carry do we carry some textbooks and um, we have what we call Bayanihan books, where a hundred percent of uh, your purchase goes to the fund, uh, the project of uh, the storytelling project. Are you familiar with the storytelling project? Not familiar. So the storytelling project, um, it's headed by Ray Buffy. Uh, he goes around remote areas in the Philippines and um, teaches kids how to read and make them fall in love with storybooks. And his project was supposed to be, he was supposed to go to Cagayan up north and bring a thousand set kits for children uh, who were affected by the typhoon, children who lost everything. They were supposed, the kits were supposed to um, uh, be like a form of therapy for them to help them mm -hmm. recover from the trauma. Uh, the trip was just delayed um, by maybe two, three weeks, but that's still ongoing. So we still have what we call Bayanihan funds and we have some textbooks there. Uh, but to go back to your question, a lot of homeschooling families purchased from us uh, more for reference materials and like to supplement the textbooks. Because siempre textbooks are a little dry. Well, are dry, period. <laughs> They're dry. Um, like right. even with Adriana, because we just started homeschooling. And then I saw that a lot of the textbooks, parang mas madaya pang laman yung storybooks niya. She would learn more from those and she'd be more entertained. So it's it's a it's a lot better. It's a very great way to supplement what you have, what you're learning. Right, right, right. How about digital books and ebooks? Are those is that a trend among kids, um, or do they prefer? I'm you know. <laughs> well, we do not carry ebooks, but um, okay. there are families for lack of space primarily because uh, uh, physical books do need space. <laughs> like this at the back, so they um right, right. so for those who have limited space, they resort to ebooks. So so meron naman, and like we do have publishers like Adarna, they offer ebooks na they offer ebook libraries. Got it, got it. So Adarna is one of the big publishing houses. Tahanan, Anvil, no, those are the major ones. There's there's a lot. We there's carry. I think more than 20 publishers online or on, on, on our website. So a lot are yeah, people have never heard of them, but we have but they produce really amazing books. Really good. What is I guess what are the next where do you see the children's books industry here in the Philippines going? Where is it? I guess what are the next steps? And what are your wishes in terms of for the you know, or where, oh, where do you see it in the industry? Publishers, interestingly, a lot of publishers said this year was a very difficult year, um, but this was also the year that they produced a lot of beautiful, beautiful titles. Kupaga, they didn't give up; they they still produced them. And some of their best works came out this year. And the support has been very, very good. The reception of, of the books this year. So, so uh, like with a, digi with a digital age, people are saying, oh, books are dead. But it's not, right? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it's far, it's, it's only getting bigger and bigger. And even formats, formats have, are changing. They can see you. <laughs> the, 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 uh, they're diversifying content um, and formats, um, but still physical books. Because not a study show that you, uh, physical books are still um, the better medium. Right. 
in terms of learning. Yes, Ben. I couldn't find the I love homeschool. Where is it? Is That's it okay. That's okay. We'll listen first to Tito has questions. Don't go anywhere because he has questions for you. I was looking for the homeschool. That's okay. So she wanted to say that we have a book that's actually called I Love Homeschool. It's, like <laughs> it's written by a homeschooling mom. It's a, yes, it's available on our website as well. Uh, it's very cute and very adorable. That's one of the reasons why Adriana agreed to homeschool because of that book. Oh, wow. That's good yeah. to know because we do have some homeschooling moms who are watching this right now. So um, that, that's a great book. I, I think we, we can recommend to them for their children. <laughs> Very nice. And how about, I guess you brought up the, you know, the, the teaching the Filipino language, you know, that's, 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 that's very interesting though. Um, I guess, cause I, you know, there aren't, I feel like from what I know, there aren't that many from, you know, when I, you know, but now it seems like there's, there it's it is a growing thing, um, and also what not just uh, Filipino, Philippine like the Filipino language. But now it's also in different, different I know different languages, Filipino languages, not just Tagalog, which is also really nice to to see. <laughs> yes, yes, and um, there's actually a mom just was just talking to I was just speaking to a mom this morning, and she was saying she wishes there were more. Uh, from other languages. Yeah, I really wish we could do more. I really like that they are promoting, you know, even Ivatan, Cebuano, like all these, you know, all these things that some of our children haven't, you know, are, you know, are getting more awareness that hindi lang English, hindi lang Tagalog ang mga, you know, ang mga nandito sa Pilipinas. So we have other, we have other languages and cultures. So wonderful. It's really, really encouraging to hear and so there, where's, where's next? I, ahead, I just ahead. wanted to point out as well that these books in the other languages, in other Filipino languages, there's um, either a Filipino or English translation. Yeah. Kasi baka matakot sila na, I can't understand that, di ba? Oh, <laughs> yes. Right. The, one si Ma, the guy who saved the days from the Spaniards because he was on the boat. In my Filipino yon, Filipino and Bisaya. Yeah, so it's translated yeah. in Messiah, not Filipino. Yes, but still bilingual. It's still in Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. How about you guys? Do you hope to write? Do you write books? Or eventually, are you going to write a book? <laughs> well, someone just asked us that recently. They said, oh. do you, Tito, Tito Anton, he said, do you want to publish? I said, yeah. you know what? There's a lot of work that goes into publishing. Because I had a discussion recently with uh, the publisher of Tahanan Books, okay. um, this is Reni, Ro Reni Rojas. There's a lot of work. It's not just, you know, <laughs> because, and then the authors themselves, they say, it's harder to write children's books because you only have, you can only use so many words as compared to you write an essay, you can go, go through, right? you can go on and on and on. But to be able to relay something in a very limited space, to, uh, that's, that's harder. So I was saying that they're very good at what they do. And I would like to think that we, we're good at what we do at getting, getting the books uh, to the target audience. And I think that is our little niche in the world. It's a niche. That's very nice. That's very yes. nice. It's a niche. It's our spot. A little, yeah. specialty. Is there a book well. that you would like to see written about or any topic that you would like to see that hasn't been touched yet by any mm. of the publishers? <laughs> Is there? Anything of interest to you that you want to learn about, to, to read about? You know, an interesting thing, you want to think about that? Well, I, mm -hmm. okay, she's going to think about it because she has, she has, she has, so, Another thing we want to say is mm. that because we have hundreds and hundreds of books. Oh, yeah. But since then, what? Like we are talking. Like I don't <laughs> understand the reading of this Nyana. There's no Nyana about that. Oh, we were what? just. What? The... Now she's embarrassed. <laughs> oh, no. Don't so she was. We, we have a new book. 
So again, she evaluates all the books. So there is this book, there is this book today about death, a mother who, who passed away. And then I mentioned, you know, there's a lot of books about mothers passing away. There's no book about a dad passing away. And, um, and then her Adriana's dad said, well, that's because mothers are the one, they're the more tangible ones when it comes to caring for, in terms of caring and aruga, diba? it's the mothers na hahanap hanapin ng bata. Adriana was saying, perhaps, you know, because she's a daddy. Siya. You know, there's, there's, there should also be a book for daddies. Knock on wood, Justin. You're supposed to knock on wood, baby. A good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. So um, <laughs> those are heavy topics, uh, but those are you know, it's, if, they, if there's yeah, heavy topics, but much. No, needed. and yeah. So I wanted to sh share that we have uh, so many diverse topics, like literally anything except not the dad passing. <laughs> but um, you can on our website, you can even search by you can even search by topic. Let's say uh, broken families. Trending din yon, uso yon. And daming, and, 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 mabenda yung book na yon. We do have a book about um, kids with two different homes kasi minsan they're with mommy, they're with daddy. So the book is called Papa's House, uh, Mama's House, Papa's House. So, Filipino, Filipino. And ba? Filipino. These are all these are all <laughs> Filipinos. And then there's um LGBT books. We have we have like seven titles, I think. LGBT. Yeah, yeah we have two mommies, two daddies. Um uh yeah, butch mommy, madame, everything. Yeah, that's 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 a that's good, good wide variety. <laughs> what what would you say is the biggest difference between um, the Filipino children's book industry versus, I guess, the Western or outside the Philippines? So a mommy was just two mommies were just talking to me. They they messaged to thank us. Um. Because now the values that they wanted to teach their kids, like one mommy in the U.S., uh, they go, her kids go to the best schools. Her, um, they have everything they need. But the things, the values she wanted to teach her kids, only hit home when they started reading. The, when they started ordering books for me, the suki suki sila namin like regular may nagpapaship talaga sila in bulk. And all those, because they're they're in the suburbs, and then they see books like yung mga laki sa hirap, yung, yung mga ganon. Yeah. and then how, then they realize that there is another world. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a there's there are people who really literally do not have food to eat, and um, yet they they overcome. Like when you think when you and then you, they realize that they're. They're, what they think are problems are really insignificant. Right. And um, yeah, so then her daughter, she, she related uh, how her daughter, after reading that, every time her grandparents would give her money, she would ask that they be, she be, she would name a charity. She would say, please donate to this organization. Mm -hmm. so, Which one are you talking about? Um, this was a while back. And then today, uh, we have another book by Tito Doc. It's called Signal Number Three. I haven't sad. showed you the message yet. So it's sad. Signal Number Three is a story book. Na... Sad. <laughs> Adriana kasi doesn't like sad books. Kids naman talaga, they don't like sad books. Yeah. Right? But, uh, so Signal Number Three is na nalunod, uh, they lost everything also. Exactly like what happened recently. And um, a mommy ordered it long last week, and after reading it, her daughter, her daughter was so moved. Parang she used it as reference because she's not allowed to watch the news, so she Why? knew because news the news is very dark manga. So <laughs> I watch news because you. you're bigger now. So <laughs> so she she knew there was a typhoon, and then so her reference long was that storybook 
And then she would actively ask her parents na to donate, na they would help now help families who were affected. Oh wow, wow. So they really, they really make a difference. Books. Right, right. And food. Right. And food. And food. <laughs> so you want to tell Tita about your program, ongoing program? Yeah. The feed the children. It's done. Yeah, but it's ongoing. You want to tell him about it? Um, do I have to say everything? Like, when no, come on, they're they're listening. Yes. You know, I said no one for the children. No, no. Oh, can I do it? Yeah, you should. Okay, so <laughs> she she just had her tenth birthday, and I'm very proud to say that um, Yay. all our customers uh, made her birthday wish come true, and her 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 birthday wish. Because she really, really loves food. Her birthday wish was to feed hungry children. So we put it, we partnered with Gawad Kalinga because they have an ongoing feeding program across the Be Philippines. Okay. Yes, it's, it's called Be a Hunger mm -hmm. Warrior. Mm -hmm. And uh, where you can feed a hungry child for 20 pesos a day. Wow. And so together with our customers, we were able, uh, through our customers and family and friends, Adriana was able and to a raise. Spaghetti donor, Adam for spaghetti. Adriana was able to raise enough money to feed 100 children for 120 days. Wow, amazing. Yes, and um, a lot of parents also said that the program made a difference to their kids. So, kumbaga, namulat din daw yung mga anak nila na... They all were running yeah, their yeah, piggy banks. Yeah, Adriana said, they, they cracked open their piggy banks just to donate. So, it's really cute, you know, when the kids gang up to, 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 to work together. Mm -hmm. A lot of things can happen, especially with their generation. They have everything going for them. They have the internet to... to you know, with with yeah. they're gonna be inspired. They can be inspired by Wait, books, but then they can make things happen through mm -hmm. the internet. They don't necessarily mm -hmm. have to get all their information from the internet, so they get their info from books, and then they use yeah. the internet to their to to make a difference. I have another question. So how, okay, as a parent, do you ha did you have to set a time limit on how much internet they use or how much? you know, reading the panel. How do you get your, you know, your children to parang love books or start loving books? Okay. Do you start them young or do you limit the internet time? What's, what's your, do you have a special? I need your dad. What? Okay, so I use my iPad. There, there is no shortcut to raising a reader. There, there's none. You need to invest the time there's, 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 there's really no shortcut. So, and what age do you start? Zero. Zero. Age zero, zero palang. Age zero palang, you start reading to your child. Because if you push it, mm -hmm. but you know, even if you start late na, that's okay. It's never too late to start also. Uh, what's important, like yeah, what's important yes. is that you start. Uh, that means you get an age appropriate book or ideally something your what child is like for 50 year old? ideally something your child is interested in and then uh, very important is you have to be excited about it you as a parent because parang puppy and they they'll know if you don't you know they'll know if you don't like it so you have to be right, excited right. about it and then if you're excited they'll be excited and then you really have to make it a habit so is it every night that you guys read together my daughter and i yeah do you guys have a well she she there was a point that she 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 asked me to stop reading to her already but then wait adriana can you plug the ipad what the wait sorry Plug. It's low bad. Plug it in here. Sorry. Already. Sorry. Uh yeah. It's not working. Babe, fix it, please. It's not working. Sorry, my my laptop is low bad. I can't find mine. I think it's because Okay. All right. So yeah, we okay, okay. We read every day. Oh no. Wait, my laptop might die. No. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on. No problem. Okay. Plug it. I'll turn on the plug and plug it again. Oh no. Sorry. Yes, we still read regularly. Okay. 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 Go. Um. My laptop isn't charging. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you call Daddy? Ask him to fix it. He's watching National Geographic. Okay, just ask him to fix it. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Technical no error. No worries, no worries. I we do have two questions from oh one one question from one of our viewers. For for Adriana, what are your top five favorite books? Oh, that's difficult. Top five favorite books of all time. Top five favorite books all time? Of all time? Yep. Adriana, there's a question yep. for you. What are your top favorite books of all time? You have to answer. You have to sit down. There, the... <laughs> sit down. You have to answer it. She's thinking. Huh. Okay, yes. Yay, she... Wait. She, Adriana, yes. you want to answer? Well, what were you? Since we curate. Okay. Okay, since we curate lots of books, and then mom buys me lots of books, like, I have so many, so I can't choose my favorites. But I will give you a top 10 list in a while. In a while? I'm looking. So okay, why don't you tell them what were the last few books that you're, Alamo? She the I worst punishment. Oh, you wanna? Is it here? It's, no, it's <laughs> we it's just goodish? you received it. We just received a new book yesterday, so she was very pleased with it. She, but it's downstairs. I like this. It's called Sinta. So she's going through her bookshelf. I like these. Um. So the ma another thing that's very important I is you. You offer your children a diverse selection. You can't just yeah. say, oh, she likes fairy tales. I will buy all the princess books I can find buy, and buy and offer only that. Very important is diversity. And she may not hear, okay. she may not pick it up right away, but eventually, pag wala na silang mahanap, they, they will. Are these your top five? Not my top, but just some. Okay, these are some that you really like. So this one, because this is because this is really funny. Yeah. So this one. is by okay, Halo Halo Histories. This is Bone Talk. This is a novel by Candy Gurley. Ah. This is a Filipino author as well. This is published by Anvil. Like mm -hmm. this too. Oh, this is also hers. This is funny, super funny. Uh, this is also by Candy Gurley. This is a tall story. It's about a family living in London. Oh, wow. Very nice. This is, uh, how do I do this? Simonito ang mabait na demonyo. This is by Segundo Matias. This is a uh, chapter book with illustrations by Joe Mike Tejido. So, I, Joe Mike. So we have this. I haven't put it long on our website. I will remind me to put hey, it. You yeah, like this like too? Yeah, I like it. Okay. <laughs> so this is uh, Barefoot in Fire. This oh, is wow. a World War II childhood uh, story. That's this is also by Tahanan Books. This is also a chapter Good book. Pictures. That's yeah. of course my ah, older. Hello. You know, she's been reading this since she was five. And just the other week, I, I saw her reading it again, and she was still laughing out loud while, <laughs> while reading the this. Other week. Yeah, that was the other week. You hear that, Ben and Divine? <laughs> yes. No. This, this also? This is like and Of oh, yeah. course. Oh, three of halo halo. Three of halo halo is your favorite. Mo. See, and the thing with local books is you can have, you can have them signed. See, that's Divine and Ben. Beautiful. The beautiful. They're easier to get. That's, is that signed also? Is that 10? I don't know. No. Okay. But this morning, you want to tell them what you were reading this morning? Uh, that. No, the other one. So she was reading. Christian Anderson Fairy Tales? Yes, she was reading Hans Christian Anderson Fairy Tales this morning. Wow, wow. And, and the worst thing we can ever do uh, as punishment for her 
<laughs> is to stop her from reading. <laughs> yan ang, yan ang the end of the world sa kanya. Like, wow. like that's the biggest threat. If we say, stop giving, it or we won't let you read. It's not the worst, but I'm not going to give you any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but but it makes you sad, right? Okay, you mm-hmm. have to put everything back. Not able to read. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, so, wonderful. Well, it's nice to nice to hear that you know that we have you know children who are still so excited to read. You know, I'm, I'm you know there's a lot there's a lot of children who still love to read, like you said, but there are also a lot of parents who are saying. Pre pandemic, we used to do um, we used to sell at bazaars or my mm-hmm. events, mm-hmm. Um, and then you would see kids run away from us when they see, they would see that we would have books they would run away get on so yeah. <laughs> there's a better better pa din talagang mga bata na yun, especially now they're all hooked to gadgets you know they can't even walk five meters without mm-hmm. looking up from their five meters a lot. yeah so um that's a real problem Especially now, like even the eye doctors say they're seeing a spike in children with eye eye problems because of gadgets. So it is a real problem. And we would encourage moms to really maybe just take away the gadgets. That would be the easiest way to solve it. Take away the gadgets, um, make time for each other, sit down, read a good book. You know, they say there, there's no child that doesn't like to read there, it's sometimes just because they haven't found a book they like. To, para, to paraphrase a quote, yes. So there's a book out there for everyone. And we may have it for your child if your child isn't a big reader. Because you know, there's so many stories now. And um, and um, like even Filipino kids, because the kids don't speak Filipino anymore. A lot of kids don't speak Filipino. So they will... A mom just told me also that her his her daughter was crying because she would buy a lot of books for 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 me, and then her daughter one day that started bawling and saying, "Mama, I can't understand any of the books you buy. Why? Why? It's like why do you keep on buying Filipino books? You know." Um. So the struggle is real. Mm-hmm. Uh. So you can a just buy all the books you want, but you really have to sit, yeah, sit with your child and sell it to her. Kumbaga, nabenta siya sa yon, but you have to sell it to the child. Na why your child has to read a book, why your child has to read a Filipino book, de ba? So that's those are the challenges. Like if 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 we weren't in quarantine, it would probably be why anak we should go see Luneta Park. Mga ganon, diba? We're not going to the mall, we will go to Luneta Park. There's a reason why we have to embrace all of these. Mga ganon. Do you say we would have gone? Actually, I do have a dream book. Us? My dream book is, dream children's book is to have a children's book of Luneta, of Rizal Park. Because there's actually so many different areas of the park that people don't know about and I think kids would enjoy so we have little gardens we have different pl- we have playgrounds and different areas full of history and art and culture that I think children would enjoy so maybe in the future you you can help out fulfill, help out with that project <laughs> ben, and, ben and Divine that, Peter. <laughs> that, that does sound enough more than a book that yeah. sounds like you can even make a series out of it Yep, I, I think I think so, and I and I would love to invite you to come since children are allowed to come to the park now with with parents. They can come now? to to the net. Yes. Now, why the net? Why Oh, so starting to, today, lang. Um, starting this week. We um, starting this oh. week. Oh. If you, you want to go check out the park, yeah. we are open from well, the park is open from open from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. So, asama yung mga parents, the mga bata, uh, we will allow, we allow. And then you just count the people, uh, the number of people that go in that come in, yes. And it's, like, it's what's the maximum? 
well, our capacity is actually thousands, but since the, the park is very, very large, you know, we, we haven't had an issue so far with, um, with the number. Everyone's very spaced out. Um, of course, everyone's wearing masks and observing social distancing. We have um, our patrols going around as well. So we, I, I recently had a mom kahapon who came with her two daughters. It was their first time to leave, you know, to be to leave the house after eight months, and they were so happy. They were like, "Jazz, we're so happy. It's so safe here. You know, um, we're really happy. The kids are able to like, you know, see the Christmas lights and see." be in open space and be able to to run around. No so. Lunetta Park is open. Do you want to go? Can you bring that up? Can you bring puppies? <laughs> yes, you can. We are oh. also friendly. <laughs> you can bring are puppies. Yeah. Do you want to meet Tita Jess? She wants to meet you. She says she'll only go if she can meet you. Of course, of course. I'll happy be happy to tour you, I'll give you a tour. I <laughs> see. Then you two can discuss if there's a possibility for a book. Would you like that? What about you? What about me? Yeah, you too. Okay. okay. And I oh, that's great to know. We'll be sure to tell everyone because yes, yes, yes. all the all mommies are asking, where can I take my children? Exactly. There are restrooms, right? There are restrooms, of course. Yeah. There, yeah. So. <laughs> but where? In the park. In the parking, we have a dancing fountain with with lights, so and, and music playing. So it's 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 a nice experience. <laughs> we'll be there tomorrow. What? <laughs> yes, I have a friend coming with her dog to, with her puppy tomorrow as well. So. What's so, usually tomorrow? Who's tomorrow is Boxing Day. Tomorrow is a holiday, is Adriana. Yeah, <laughs> school day down now. <laughs> school day. See, isn't that interesting? So All right. Going tomorrow? Do you happen? To, um, now we're approaching our. Oh, we've been here for an, for almost an hour now. Would you like to um, say any last words? Any words of inspiration to our parents who are still um, dealing with the quarantine at, at home? Any tips and advice? Um, words of inspiration. <laughs> mm. and, you know what? I do have to point out that. Uh, this it's been almost a year and our children have been our children have been most of they're the ones who used to be banned everywhere up until you told me Rizal Park is now open to children um, so we I would like to give all the children in the world a lot of credit mm. this has been a huge uh, life-changing event for them especially um so books will help kahit papano like it's if like adriana can sit through just stay in her room and read all day and not get bored but then we have to have food except for food she needs her food but <laughs> she can you know she can really sit down and just read and read and she'll go places without ever having to leave the house. It, it yeah, does make a difference. Rough, it? Yes. Um, if you need help selecting a book, feel free to message us. Adriana can help select for your child even. Uh, we do that for a lot of moms who ask. Like They don't know where to start, where to even begin. Because this is all new to them. Uh, we're happy to help and introduce you to the Philippine, uh, Philippine children's books. Because every year, they keep on producing beautiful, beautiful like titles. Sinta, if you check what it's okay, she can't stop talking about Sinta. I, well, it's a good example. I really have to post that book today. No, you it's, to we just received it. You have to read all the stuff that I've read. Uh, you read more than me. And um, yeah, and because um, and because it's local, our products are all local. Every time you purchase a book, you help the authors, the publishers, the illustrators, the delivery men, us, everybody. It's a it's a huge army of people behind the production of each and every book, and uh, it's a it you know, yeah it's a gift that keeps on giving, and it does wonders for our children and our families. Wonderful, wonderful. So where can we find you? You guys are on social media. You guys have on yes. your website. Our, our website is pumplepie.com. Uh, you can order directly, even for international orders. 
You don't have to go through anything else. There's PayPal checkout. Uh, we ship every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you order now, you'll have your books by Wednesday. Because in Metro Manila, we deliver door to door. Okay. We have riders that deliver to your door. Now. Adriana, we show the book. We're going to end now. Adriana, <laughs> where's the book? I can't okay. remember. <laughs> this is the book she won't stop talking about. And also, I, I learned something new. Why? Gumamela. This is actually a chapter book. Yeah, it's a chapter book. And I haven't read it yet, but she says it's beautiful. So this is only <laughs> 250 pesos. We'll put it, put it up on our site today. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, yes. if we remember. You guys this, is, this is self-published. This is self-published. This is written by Anna DG and illustrated by B-Boy Royong. Okay. Wonderful. So self-published. So they they when we reached out to them, they also said it's been a struggle to sell books. Because it is, you know, when you're when you're selling one book at a time, it's a real struggle. So you don't have to look very far. We have everything on pumplepie.com. Ooh, we have one last question from one of our viewers. Is okay. there a free ebook for children? Yeah. A free uh, ebook. Is there a are there free ebooks? For children, yeah. Is there, there are, there mm -hmm. are. Um, Definitely used to be an e before. Yes, there are a lot of free ebooks. Adarna has a couple free. Vibal has a couple of free. You just have to log into their website. Us personally, we do not carry free ebooks because mm -hmm. we're big believers of physical books. But mm -hmm. um, and if in case you guys are wondering, I doubt it is. No, but we do have. There are um, Filipino ebooks e available. So if you okay. want to hear about good the books, to know. Good fine. to know. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm sad to say that this concludes our our short discussion, <laughs> but I am very excited, and I, um, to, and I hope you guys do come here to Luneta to Rizal Park soon <laughs> and i hope to see you adriana and alexine in person so in the again, be happy to show you guys around <laughs> uh, she, she's not gonna forget that she's gonna bug me until we go there <laughs> and uh yeah yep. yeah happy, happy to show you happy to show you and bring your puppy as well <laughs> yay. yay all right we'll be there Bye. All right. So again, thank you so much, Alexine Pareño and Adriana Madrid, for this wonderful discussion this afternoon, and you know, sharing us your favorite, you know, your top books, your collection, the wonderful things you guys sell at Pumple Pie. Um, I I love your name. It's just so it's just so fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having us, Jess. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So yeah, so again, to all of our viewers, please don't forget to check them out. And if you would like to view um, our discussion today and see all the wonderful books that they have in store, um, this video is available on demand and you can watch it again. And please don't forget to fill out our survey as well to all our viewers in the comments section or dito lang sa chat box ng Zoom. So once again, um, thank you to everyone who um, who participated and thank you, Alexi and Adriana. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We hope to see you soon. Bye. 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 With your dog, and our dog, and probably. Yeah. We'll see you there at the park. Thank you, and we'll spread the good word. Yes, yes, yes. Thank Bye. you so much. All right. Thanks. You guys Bye. take care. Bye bye. Yeah, question. Bye. Thank you, Sir Jess, and thank you again, Miss Alexine and Adriana Madrid for that wonderful discussion this afternoon. Again, follow us on our social media accounts to stay updated and connected, especially in our future projects and events. For Facebook and Instagram, it's npdc.ph, and for Twitter, it's npdc underscore ph. And speaking of if you, our future events, watch out for the biggest online concert event to end the year 2020, the Manila Heritage Concert.
Hinahanap-hanap kita Manila presented by the Tourism Promotions Board, Juan Care Foundation Incorporated, and Viva Music Publishing Incorporated will stream live on Facebook on December 13, Sunday at 8 p.m. singing the music of the iconic hot dog whose music shaped the Manila Sound era are Brass Pass 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 with Raymond Marasigan, Abby Denzel, Armi Miliare, Yen Constantino, Blaster Silonga, Nicole Laurel Asensio, Bing Austria, Bea Lorenzo, Rubber Inc., and Gary Valenciano. This star-studded concert also features the different heritage sites of Manila, directed by Juno Obenda. Directed by Juno Obenda. And then... Din din Araneta, Charlie Dungo, Cecil Romero, Jezreel Apelar, Charisse Cao Reyes, and Philip Masquel. Masakel. The event is made possible through the cooperation of the following government agencies, City of Manila, Department of Tourism, Culture and Arts of Manila, National Parks Development Committee, Intramuros Administration, Nayong Filipino Foundation, National Museum of the Philippines, and Museo Pambata. Again, this has been Park Conversations. See you and have a good afternoon, everyone.